There's a new and easy way to strengthen your microbiome, and I'm betting you've never heard of it. Hi, I'm Danny Curtin. Thank you for joining me today. We all know about probiotics, typically good bacteria that are used by roughly 4 million Americans on a daily basis to stimulate a healthy community of microbes in their microbiome. The barrier that plays a major role in immune function by providing protection from pathogens. Now, recently, I talked about the Supplement to Savings Report designed by the Council for Responsible Nutrition, which had a massive amount of data showing that consumers who take vitamin K2 are saving substantial amounts of money in the form of healthcare cost savings. However, when it comes to saving money, it gets better since probiotics have an even bigger impact. According to the same report, Probiotic users are currently saving $12.25 billion a year in lost wages since those who take probiotics miss far less work. In fact, employers could count on a total of $10.54 billion in productivity gains per year if all employees took probiotics. A healthy microbiome is not only vital for optimal immune function, but it also prevents immune malfunctioning, otherwise known as autoimmunity which is a hot topic right now. According to the latest research, new autoimmune disease diagnoses like arthritis, psoriasis, lupus, and especially IBS have increased globally on a steady trend for the last 20 years. But what worries me is that new diagnoses started to skyrocket three years ago, and this new upward trend is expected to continue until at least 2030. However, the experts maintain that nothing has changed. The World Health Organization attributes this sudden increase to a combination of better diagnostic tools and an increase in fast food consumption. Hmm. But no matter what the cause is, a lot of people are getting sick and staying sick, which is terrible. But the good thing is, even more people are looking for natural ways to improve their health. And that leads us back to the microbiome. If only 4 million Americans are consistently using probiotics to support their microbiome and they are saving billions in lost wages, imagine how easy it would be to get that savings into the trillions if supplement users that aren't supporting their microbiome started today. So what's the best way to improve the microbiome? Until now, probiotics have been the mainstay for doing so, along with some functional foods as well as the acquired taste of fermented foods. But now, there's something new and unique that's even more powerful than the strongest probiotics. Okay, so remember in the 90s, the first time you heard about supplementing with good for you bacteria? We all thought bacteria was supposed to be gross and dirty. Well, that gross and dirty bacteria turned into a $60 billion probiotic industry. Fast forward 30 years, and now we've moved on to the next big thing. Supplementing with a type of virus, not illness types of viruses that infect human cells, but specialized viruses that can only infect certain types of bacteria, and they're called bacteriophages, or phages for short. Now, phages, which look like something out of a science fiction movie, are able to attach to specific types of bad bacteria in the microbiome. The phage then replicates several times over inside the bacterial host, which eventually causes the bad bacteria to burst open, killing it and releasing more phage to continue the same cycle. The cool thing is that the remnants of the bad bacteria are fed on by good bacteria, which has an overwhelmingly positive impact on your immune function. Now, this process of supplementing with phages is far more powerful than taking any type of probiotic. A recent study showed that phages increase lactobacilli and bifidobacterium counts in the gut by anywhere from 10 to 50 fold. That's a thousand to a 5,000% increase in good probiotic activity with a tiny dose of bacteriophages. Using phages in this way is fairly new, but phages have been used for well over 100 years. They are used in our food supply to keep bacterial counts down, and they were used clinically in the first part of the 20th century for bacterial infections with amazing results, before the advent of broad-spectrum antibiotics. In another 2018 study, titled Interactions Between Bacteriophage, Bacteria, and the Mammalian Immune System, phages were shown to have antimicrobial, cytokine modulation, and anti-inflammatory effects while also showing promise for those with allergic disorders such as asthma, rhinitis, and atopic dermatitis. And finally, in another recent study, four popular probiotic supplements taken with a bacteriophage product showed a 2,400% increase in probiotic CFU counts while pathogenic inflammatory E. coli strains were reduced. 
In other words, the immune system was able to naturally defend itself while there was a huge growth in beneficial probiotic strains. With all of this in mind, imagine the beneficial impact bacteriophage supplements could have on overall immune function as well as the sudden increase in autoimmune issues if more people made them part of their daily regimen. Now today we focused on immune function, but there are countless other studies involving phages and their benefits on gut health, regularity, urinary tract health, and digestive pain, which I'll cover in future videos. And finally, if you're worried about safety, you shouldn't be. Phages are some of the most abundant organisms on the planet. They are everywhere. They are on our skin, in our food, in the water we drink, and essentially they exist everywhere bacteria exist. Humans are inadvertently consuming phages all day, especially when we eat, drink, or take a breath. Now, phages have been shown to be safe and well-tolerated in multiple clinical studies. Personally, I take a bacteriophage product that's given me tremendous results. I really like supplementing with a phage blend because it's easy. I only have to take one tiny pill a day, and I don't have to take probiotics if I don't want to. Since phages not only improve supplemented probiotic activity, but they also improve innate or probiotic activity that is already in me. Now, there are a handful of bacteriophage products on the market right now, but most of them combine bacteriophages with probiotics. This isn't a bad thing, but personally, I like taking a bacteriophage product that only consists of bacteriophages. This way, I can take the probiotic formula that I like, and I know exactly how the bacteriophage product is working, and I can assess the benefits and possible side effects. The product I like is called Florophage. This is a great standalone phage product. The dose is only one capsule a day, taken at any time, so it's really easy to take and stay consistent. That's enough info for today. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to rewatch the video and please leave a comment if you'd like. I try to answer everyone that comments within at least 48 hours. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and click on that notification bell so you know when we come out with a new video. The bigger we get, the more we can spread the word on taking care of our own health. Again, I'm Danny Curtin. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.